what is up guru gang if you are new welcome to my channel and if you haven't been a part of the gang thank you so much for coming back and clicking on to today's video today i have some transitioning to fall layering combos for y'all okay so let's go ahead and jump right into it i have i think five or six combos here i've tested all these out worn them y'all know i love to just come up with names for all of my combos and just make it super super fun and exciting so i hope you guys enjoy it i'll be referencing a lot of other layering combo videos that i have done a lot of these honestly were inspired by prior layering videos that i've done so i will have those linked throughout this video in the top of the cards or you can just click the about tab in the description box and you can just see all of them but without further ado girl let's go ahead and jump right into it now this first combo if you watch my sabrina carpenter sweet tooth caramel dream review that is where this combo came from so i did go ahead and give you guys a little sneak peek but i did want to include that combo in this video so this combo is called caramel pound cake y'all first of all listen i'm still the verdict is out on the Caramel Dream by Sabrina Carpenter. And this is what the perfume looks like. If you did not see that review, definitely check it out. But the verdict is out on this one for me just because for whatever reason, y'all, I don't know why, because you would think with the added base notes of patchouli and just those woody notes that they added in this one in comparison to like the original Sweet Tooth, you would think this one lasts longer and it's more projecting. But for me, this one is just not really performing as well as the original Sabrina Carpenter Sweet Tooth for me. So I don't know, the past few times that I have worn this, it just has not had the best longevity as opposed to the very first time that I tried it out. So I was like, okay, two things. I really wanted to get more of that lemony, sweet caramel notes out of here. Like I mentioned in my review of this fragrance, you guys, this reminds me a lot of Lyra by Zherzhov in the opening because it has this really sweet sugary lemon orange type of combo. And I really, really wanted more of that in this fragrance. So I started the combo off with the Sol de Janeiro Boom Boom for Mesa Oil, which to me, you guys smells literally like some sort of caramelized macadamia cookie. It just smells so incredible. And honestly, I really hope that we get the Chirosa 71 in this body oil i will be all over that like i will be all over that i have heard though that they are coming out with that scent in a body butter so let's hope that's true but y'all this is just super moisturizing and this has just been an amazing base for any of my gourmand combos so i layered it with this and then i went in with the lotion for iced lemon pound cake as you guys can see my mist is about halfway done and i'm probably going to be finishing this up fairly soon here but I went in with the lotion for this because I find that the lotion just has a lot of that very sweet, dense, like yellow cake type of smell. I went in with that on top of my oil. And then of course I topped it off with the Sabrina Carpenter Caramel Dream. And finally the body mist that I went in with was my Bare Vanilla Golden. I also did this combo, you guys, with Chirosa 71 by Sol de Janeiro, which I totally forgot to bring down here. but. I just basically wanted to add in another type of sweet caramelly type of fragrance mist and Chirosa 71 literally has caramelized macadamia in there and vanilla and white chocolate or something I believe so it just went so amazing with this combo however bare vanilla golden is just equally as amazing because there's something in here to me that smells a little bit like creme brulee like there's something in here that's super caramelized and it says it has notes of sugared tonka and orchid blossom, but to me, I feel like the tonka is more like of a caramelized. It's just giving me some sort of buttery, almost butterscotch effect mixed with a creamy vanilla. And so I just thought that it just went so amazing, y'all, with this combo. So any combination of these, you guys, don't feel like you have to use everything, but that was just the routine that I have just been loving. And it's just been making this not only last longer, but it's bringing out more of that lemony note that I was really, really wanting to smell. So yes, I've absolutely been loving this when I wear it with that combo. And that's the thing y'all, like don't automatically give up on a fragrance. Like just try to bring out more of the things that you feel like it's lacking. Cause a nine times out of 10, that's usually what I'm doing when I am doing a layering combo. I try to bring out things that I want to smell more of in other fragrances. And it just overall makes a more 
comprehensive like overall great smelling fragrance that just works better for you perfect for fall because you've got a little bit of that lemon zest coming in but then you also have that gourmand caramelly vanilla it really reminds me of like the starbucks ice lemon pound cake with caramel drizzle how much more fall can you get you know what i'm saying <laughs> so yeah hey y'all this next combo is called smoked cherry manhattan so most of you guys know by now, if y'all have been following me for a while, I am a bartender and I make a lot of craft cocktails. The Manhattan is one of the most classic, classic, classic cocktails, usually a bourbon or a whiskey. It's got sweet vermouth in it, which is kind of a syrupy, just adds a little bit of a syrupy sweetness to the bourbon or to the whiskey that you use. And then finally, it's garnished with a bourbon cherry. It's usually a Woodford cherry, or a Luxardo cherry, just those super rich, juicy, dense, syrupy cherries. So not the little bright maraschino cherries that are in the Shirley Temples, girl. That is what inspired this combo because I tend to make a lot more boozy, you know, spirit forward type of cocktails as it gets into the cooler months. People are wanting whiskey, people are wanting bourbon. And I just thought that this combo perfectly fit the theme of fall. So in order to create my smoked cherry Manhattan, the perfume that I am using for this combo is Kaoli's Love Fest Burning Cherry, which I will be putting on my September perfume tray. So stay tuned for that video because it is coming. I have got it in the works, but this you guys is just the perfect slightly woody, sweet, juicy cherry. And there's also just this it just gives the aspect of a smoked cherry to me to where it's not overtly woody, it's not overtly tobacco-y, but it's just, it literally smells to me like a Luxardo cherry that would be inside of a cocktail, a very boozy cocktail. So I thought that would be perfect for this combo. I also wanted to pair it with Cacharelle's Yes I Am. It has a little bit of this spicy kick to it. It almost just reminds me of just the holidays, but this is super, super sexy, you guys. There's also some ginger in there, some cardamom. Like this is just such a sexy, slept on, affordable fragrance. And I've mentioned it a few times in a few like date night type of videos because that is absolutely what this gives me. So these two perfumes together, you guys already give juicy, spicy, sexy cherry. But if you want to add in some fragrance mist or if you want to use any of the lotions for these two fragrance mists, I decided to use Forever Red. So Forever Red has notes of fiery pomegranate, red peony, rich vanilla rum, and oak wood. So again, you're getting those woody notes that you get in the Kaoli Love Fest, but you're getting the rum. You're also getting a fruity burst from that pomegranate. And this is just another slept on Bath & Body Works scent. Like it's a classic scent. It's not always available, but I absolutely love this. It's sexy. It always reminds me of the fall and the winter. And I thought that that went perfect with this combo. If you really want to turn it up a notch or if you don't have Forever Red, then you could absolutely use Sweet Whiskey, which I know Sweet Whiskey made like a return back this year. So I've told y'all I've been on a Bath & Body Works no buy since like April or May. Um, so I have not bought any new body care and I still don't think I'm going to buy any body care probably until the holidays rolls around. All I really need right now is candles. So there's that, but Sweet Whiskey is another boozy, fruity fragrance. So honestly, either one of these body mists, you guys, or like I said, if you want to use the lotion for one of these to go with this overall combo, it just gives such a sexy, alluring, boozy, juicy, cherry, fruity cocktail type of mix. And it absolutely reminds me of the vibes of a Manhattan. So. This is the type of combo, girl, that I would wear if I'm going out to like a cigar lounge. Like this outfit right now, if I put on a six inch heel girl and put this combo on, I would be ready to go. Like that's the vibe that this is absolutely giving me. Like I always say, you guys, try your best not to spray everything like right on top of each other because that is kind of how the fragrances can get muddled and not really smell like anything. So, you know, I typically try to spray like my pulse points with my perfume. So hit your cleavage, behind your neck, behind your knees, your ankles. Then you're going to want to spray your clothes with your fine fragrance mist. So that's typically what I do. That's typically my method to my madness. And it just works out perfectly fine. So like I said, try to spray different articles of clothes with different things. And especially y'all in the winter and the fall, I know we're not like quite there yet, but once you start having different accessories like scarves and things like that, 
spray your hair, spray your scarf, spray your hat. You know what I'm saying? That's what you're going to want to go for when you are doing all of these different kinds of layering combos. Yeah. Next combo, y'all, is called Berry Trifle. Now, this is a combo I have done in a previous video, so I will link that video up at the top. But I basically revamped that combo with a new fragrance in my collection. So I just wanted to share the combo with you guys again. So the fragrances that this is centered around, first of all, if you guys have never had a berry trifle, it's basically a graham crackery type of crust. And then you have layers of whipped sweet cream with a lot of different kinds of berries mixed in. And it's basically just a very creamy lactonic berry forward type of dessert. So I basically centered this around the same perfume and fragrance mist that I did with the initial combo. But we're going to start this combo off with the new Tree Hut Sweet Cream Body Butter. Y'all, this is the perfect base for any gourmand layering combo, y'all. Like literally, because it basically just gives that sweet, creamy, lactonic, like frothy, almost milky kind of vibe. So this is the perfect way to emulate a whipped cream note in any type of perfume or fragrance layering routine. So I started off with this. Of course, I had to bring in my Burberry Her Elixir, which is a very creamy, lactonic, strawberry, woody fragrance. <sighs> y'all, y'all know this is literally one of my favorite perfumes. Like, first of all, to me, this does not smell like the OG Burberry Her. Like, I know all of the Burberry Her flankers have some sort of the Burberry Her DNA. The only thing to me that makes this smell like the OG is the fact that it has strawberry. But to me, this is just way more creamy. It's got a little bit of this sexy, woody undertone. And really, it just makes this the perfect year-round scent. But I found that I wore this the most last winter, and I just absolutely loved it, y'all. Like, this was truly a love for me. It never failed to give me a compliment. It was just, just an incredible fragrance. So if you guys have not tried it out and you like creamy, lactonic, woody berry fragrances, highly recommend picking this up. So started off with the sweet cream, went in with my Burberry Her Elixir. Then I added in a newer addition to my collection. So if you did not see my last fragrance haul, I will link that up at the top. But I added in Imaginary Authors Whiff of Waffle Cone. This literally smells like a caramelized waffle cone. I don't know if y'all have a Jenny's ice cream in your area, but Jenny's is like really big here in Atlanta. Literally, if you catch them when they first open, they have all of their waffle cones out and they're like airing out and they smell so good, freshly baked. You get kind of this mapley, caramelly smell with the butter, but the butteriness of the waffle cone. But then there's also a creamy lactonic vibe in here. Oh my gosh, y'all, this smells so freaking good. Like I'm absolutely obsessed. Sweet cream as your base, these two fragrances. However, if for some reason you don't have one or the other, then the initial combo that I did this with is Bath & Body Works Berry Waffle Cone. So this is very much a, pretty much these two scents combined, honestly. You've got your berries, you've got a buttery waffle cone note, and it just smells so good. And I just feel like adding this in with these two fragrances, it just creates the perfect berry dessert type of combo and I absolutely loved it. Of course, using the sweet cream as the base definitely added in that whipped cream factor. So everything together just created the most realistic berry trifle I have ever smelled in my life and I was smelling absolutely edible. So if you do not want to smell edible this fall, girl, do not wear this layering combo, okay? <laughs> Next combo, y'all, is called Seductive Balloons. Now, I know we're getting into the fall, but we are still experiencing a little bit of that summer weather. So I wanted to add in a sexy floral combo that's still a little bit airy and light, but also with some fruity, juicy facets that remind me of fall fruits. So I started off with one of my newest loves. If you guys have seen any of my more recent Middle Eastern fragrance videos. This is the Club de Nui Imperial, and it's pretty much a spot on dupe for Delina Exclusive. And y'all, this is the most creamy, vanillic, sugared rose, and it smells absolutely insane. Literally, y'all, from the moment that I smelled this, because a lot of times with these Middle Eastern fragrances, I do feel like I have to let them sit, but y'all, this smelled amazing from day one. And if you love the scent DNA of Delina Exclusive or, or if you have ever smelled 
Rose's Vanille by Mancera or even Rose Gourmand. This is definitely one you should check out because it is just so sexy to me. It's feminine. It's a little bit gourmand. You've got this kind of zestiness from the lychee that's in here. But then of course you have this very sweet, creamy, sugary, vanillic rose. And I just love this, y'all. This is an amazing year round scent, but I definitely thought that this would be a great base for a fall layering combo. When you still wanna smell feminine, you can wear this during the day. You can wear this when it starts to cool down. So this is a perfume that I started the combo off with. I added in Dahlia by Bath and Body Works, a sugary pear and tonka bean scent. So adding that in with this, which has that creamy vanilla, and this also has that sweet rose in there. I thought that these two already went perfectly together because this adds in a little bit more sweetness to this fragrance and it just smells incredible. So I honestly think you could probably do the same similar vibe if you have Rose Gourmand from Zara or even Whipped Rose Latte from Bath & Body Works, just those sweet, sugary, vanilla rose fragrances. And I just thought it went perfectly with the sweet, fruity florals that are in Dahlia. However, if you really want to turn this up a notch, y'all, you can add in either of these two fragrances. So the first one being Fall in Bloom from Bath & Body Works, which if you guys did not know or have not heard, um, I feel like I referenced this in a prior video as well when I was talking about Bath & Body Works scents that remind me of perfumes. This to me smells like Burberry Her Eau de Toilette. So the one that has the green juice. This one just has that juicy plum and that velvet moss and it's just so smooth, so beautifully blended. I know they just recently brought this back. so. I'm pretty sure it's in stores as of right now. Um, it's just in a different packaging, but this is from last year when they first released the fragrance and it just smells so good, y'all. Jammy, rich plum, and the florals give it kind of this fresh, clean, green vibe, but it's still very, very alluring, very feminine, very sexy, very effortless. So I just thought it went amazing with this combo. You could also substitute this for Victoria's Secret Pure Seduction Luxe because I feel like this has that same scent DNA, same scent profile, except this one just has a more powdery strawberry accord, whereas this one is going to have more of that powdery plum mossy type of accord. But they both share a very similar scent DNA. If you pair them with these two fragrances or something along the lines of these two, it just gives a very beautiful, feminine, effortless, chic, like cool girl fall type of vibe, if that makes sense. So. Yeah, I just love this, y'all. I would do this with, if the weather is like just starting to cool down and you're pulling out your first like sweater dress or you're pulling out your first little long sleeve maxi dress, like one of those skims dresses and you're going out for a casual light lunch at like a wine bar or, you know, you're going to have tapas with your friends at a Spanish tapas bar, like you're going to have charcuterie. That's the vibe that this is giving me and I just absolutely love this combo. So. Now, if you are still craving the fruity, juicy vibes of summer and you're not ready to go full on fall, boozy, cozy, gourmand, spicy, all of those vibes, I feel you. I totally understand because honestly, here in Atlanta, we're barely scraping the surface for, for fall weather, okay? So as much as I am loving all of my gourmand combos and all of the things that I have shown you guys so far, I did want to have one little combo that still reminded me of the juiciness of summer, but still a splash of those deep, juicy fall fruits. So I started this off with one of the perfumes I wore the most this summer, which if you did not see that video, I will link it in the description box. But this is Victor and Rolf's Flower Bomb Ruby Orchid, which this is basically, you guys, a very juicy, syrupy peach and vanilla fragrance layering combo is called sparkling summer sangria so if you guys have never had a sangria it is basically a wine based cocktail where you add in a red wine some people do white wine i typically go for red wine sangrias they're just a little bit more bold more punchy more juicy going with some sort of fruit juice you can do a peach nectar orange juice pineapple and then you just add in a bunch of fruit y'all so that was the vibe I wanted to create with this fragrance, but I also wanted to add a little bubbly vibe, like a little champagne topper, you know what I'm saying? To just kind of have that sparkling effect. So went in with my Victoria's Secret Merlot pear. This is definitely juicy, sugared, caramelized fruit. Like this literally smells like 
if you were to take berries in pairs and just soak them in some sugar syrup, like just water and sugar, soaking them in that. So I just thought that already went so well with Flower Bomb Ruby Orchid because this is a very sugary, syrupy peach and vanilla. And this is a very sugary, sweet berries and pears. So it just went amazing. It absolutely gave me sangria vibes. Capture that very bubbly, fruity, sparkling quality I wanted but not take away too much from the fruity aspect of it. I paired it with a beloved favorite champagne toast. Y'all, I have not worn champagne toast in so long and I was craving it surprisingly. So I really wanted to use this to add in kind of that sparkling, bubbly fizziness. And that is exactly what this smells like, you guys. Like to this day, I still find it so interesting how people are able to capture a sparkling quality in fragrances. And it just smells so good, you guys. So these three together absolutely gave me the vibes of a sparkling summer sangria or even like a like an Aperol spritz kind of vibe. If you wanted to take it in that direction, you could probably throw in like an orange type of fragrance. And it just smells so good, y'all. And it just made me feel very refreshed, but also still feeling super juicy and sweet. Because y'all know all of my combos have to be sweet in some kind of way, like, okay? Even if it's a floral combo, there's gonna be something fruity or sweet in there to just make it smell more my vibe. So yeah, y'all, I absolutely love this one for those still barely hanging on to hot days of summer. And I think you guys will really enjoy this one if you like fruity fragrances. Final, 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 final one. I know we have barely scratched the surface for fall, y'all, but I have been craving the crap out of a caramel apple i just have i've been wanting the fall festival vibes the fall desserts and so that is what this combo is called this is called chocolate caramel candy apple and it's a good one it's a good one so i saved the best for last so this one i wanted to use two apple fine fragrance mist in my collection the first one being victoria's secret moon spiced apple this is one that we saw last fall and I believe last fall, I did a layering combo with this and pumpkin pecan waffles, and that was absolutely amazing as well. But I wanted to focus more on the apple with this combo. This is definitely a very spicy, like super, super cinnamony nutmeg type of apple. Like literally think of baked cinnamon apples. That's kind of the vibe that this gives me with a little hint of ginger on top. And this also pairs amazingly well with uh, Cacharelle's Yes I Am because of that ginger that's in here. I wanted to pair this with Bath & Body Works Gingham Heart of Gold, which is a caramelized vanilla bean apple fragrance. These two, of course, went very well together because they're both very gourmand apple fragrances. But in order to play up on that caramel and to add in that chocolate, I added in two perfumes. The first one is Choco Musk by Arehab. Y'all know this is the most delicious, creamy, milk chocolate fragrance, y'all. I mean, it's just so good. It's just so good. And it gets even better the longer you have this. So I really have to let this one sit because this has just developed into a more chocolatey, creamy fragrance the longer that I have had it. And I promise y'all, just give it some time, just give it some time. So that is what I use to acquire the chocolate drizzle on my caramel apple. However, I also wanted to play up more on the caramelly factor. So I did use my Viva La Juicy Gold Couture, which this is also a caramelly vanilla fragrance that has some berries in there. But to me, the berries read more almost of like a sour green apple in my opinion. And it just smells good. And this is a fragrance that always will get you compliments. It smells incredible. So adding this in with those three, it literally smelled like a caramelized green apple with chocolate drizzle on top. And it just smelled so good, y'all. Like it made me want to go to the fair, literally. So uh, everything together, y'all, just came together so beautifully and created the most delicious apple combo and I absolutely loved it. So you guys, that is it for this layering video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know if you guys are gonna try any of these, which one is your favorite. I have been wearing these. I'm probably going to be wearing them until I do my next layering video. So hopefully I can get back to doing these twice a month now that I'm a little bit more settled after my move, but we will see girl, cause I still have a bunch of other stuff 
that I need to get out. So that is it for today's video, you guys. Thank y'all so much for tuning in. Please do not forget to subscribe as well, okay? And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.